Whew. Oh, hey. Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this episode, episode 41, I'm going to be giving you an introduction to skeletal muscle contraction. But one second, let me finish my set. So here I am working out in the gym and I am doing some bicep curls. I'm lifting the weight and there's muscle contraction happening. Now when I'm talking about skeletal muscle, I am talking about this voluntary muscle, the muscle that I have control over and it's the ones that I use to move my bones, to move my body, to walk, to lift weights. And as you can see here, I'm doing some bicep curls. I am using my biceps. Now let's look over here to the right and you will see that the biceps are these muscles over here. And what I'm actually doing is I'm contracting these muscles, making these muscle fibers shorter. And as they become shorter, they are actually pulling my arm up in that direction. So I'm making these muscles shorter by contracting them and that is pulling on the bones in my arms, my lower arms, and that is raising my lower arms. Now you can see here that there are a lot of stripes and we call these stripes striations. And each individual uh, fiber that you see here is one muscle cell. So these cells are narrow but they are also very long. So these are the muscle cells, and you can see there are many muscle cells that make up each muscle and each muscle group. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these muscle fibers and look at what's happening there. So let's go to the next slide. So here we have one muscle fiber, and you can see we have an axon coming in. So the axon here is number one. And that axon makes a synaptic connection with this muscle cell. Or another thing you can call it is a muscle fiber. And the interesting about this muscle fiber is that it's made up of these tubes that kind of go all the way along, kind of like little fibers inside the muscle fiber. And those are called myofibrils. So we have the muscle fiber or the muscle cell, which can be very long and very slender and narrow. We have the axon that's coming in, making a synaptic connection with the muscle cell and these little fibrils, myofibrils, inside of the muscle cell. This entire thing with the neuron, the motor neuron, and the muscle cell. This is called a neuromuscular junction. In other words, it's the junction or the connection between the nervous system and the muscle cells. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these uh, myofibrils, these guys in here, and I am going to look at that down here. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is going to look a little strange, but what I'm basically doing, this is one fiber. So uh, all of this here, and it actually extends much longer than that. This is looking at one of these fibers. And you're going to see that there are these different sections and it goes from here to here and then from here to here. And we're going to talk about what these different components are and what role they play in muscle contraction. Now, right here, each one of these units I call a sarcomere. And the sarcomere, this important unit here, is the functional unit of contraction. This is really where the contraction happens. And the sarcomere is made up of two main fibers. The main fibers are actin and this narrow one here, I'm going to call actin. 
and the thicker fiber is called myosin. So we have actin filaments and myosin filaments. So we have actin and we have myosin. And what's happening as I contract my muscles is that on the myosin, we actually have these little heads that extend. And you know what? I'm just going to zoom in on one of those heads. And you can see that over here, we have the um, myosin head here, and it's connecting to the actin. And what that does when contraction is supposed to happen, this actually moves and pulls against the actin. So you can imagine here, you have these little heads that are pulling, pulling in this direction. And what ends up happening is this distance here shortens as this moves in and this moves in because of the heads that are pulling on it. So once again, up here, you have the myosin head that's moving in this direction. As it moves in that direction, it pulls the actin along and that pulling shortens the sarcomere so that you might have maybe the sarcomere being this long instead of that long. So it's shortening it. And what that's going to do, it doesn't only happen here. It happens here. It happens here. It happens here all along the muscle fiber or the muscle cell that shortens the muscle and that causes contraction. All right, so we're just kind of going over the major details that are happening. Uh, in future episodes, we're actually going to look at these individual steps and break them down a little more. But for right now, that's just an introduction into muscle contraction, specifically skeletal muscle contraction. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. And you can always visit the website at interactive-biology.com for more biology videos and other resources. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next one.